The cryptocurrency industry is still reeling off the back of Bitcoin's most recent surge. We can only say, wow, this was unprecedented and it's still pretty shocking. The beginning of this week saw the price of Bitcoin fall off its previous high of about $33,000 to about $29,000. That's about $4,000 off the top. Some analysts had the foreboding that the price fall wasn't done yet, while some were pretty optimistic it wouldn't fall further. But no one predicted this much of a surge as it rose as high as $35,000. That's about 6,000 in one solid move, and it has reportedly consolidated at that value. You can't help but smile while thinking about what this means to the crypto industry at large. Today, we'll be looking at the vital signs of XRP, whether you should buy, keep, or sell. If you're watching a video on this channel for the first time, like and subscribe right now, or you're going to have terrible luck in cryptocurrency for the next week. Let's get on with the video. The rise of Bitcoin has got people digging into their own pockets, trying to earn as much as they can before its bullish trend expires or consolidates. This degree of bullish run far exceeds the one we've seen in the past. It was only a few months ago that we were looking at Bitcoin at $16,000, and then it hit $20,000 in December 2020. It fell back and then rose again to $23,000 and then $25,000. January 2021 has seen the price of Bitcoin rise about $10,000, which is about 40% increase from its closing price in 2020. Other altcoins, namely Ethereum, Ripple XRP, Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash, Chainlink, Tether, etc., are not hitting the headlines as much as Bitcoin, except Ripple XRP, of course. This rise is coincidental with the current events surrounding Ripple XRP. Technically, as things seem to worsen for XRP, it just keeps getting better and better for Bitcoin. The SEC landed a bombshell on the cryptocurrency backed by Ripple Labs. The company runs a payment system that is renowned among some of the world's biggest financial institutions who are technically the beneficiaries of its exclusive service. Ripple stood out of the bunch when it aimed against the run of other cryptocurrencies by using its decentralized currency to work in favor of centralization. How? Well, it's no news that Ripple and XRP work together to help organizations such as banks operate much better. At the start, it seemed as if XRP was sort of being antagonistic of an industry in which it is a member. It was suggested that Ripple XRP was going to be the bad egg of the group. It was supposedly handing power to financial institutions that hold custody of fiat currencies. The ideology behind every cryptocurrency industry was to dethrone the expensive and pretty burdensome fiat currencies for a more standardized digital asset that would ultimately offer more access, easier transactions, payments, and currency conversion. Ripple XRP must have been deemed counterproductive and thus might have made it seem all the less adopted. Unlike most other cryptocurrencies that we see today, Ripple XRP has been in the works since 2012. It was a cryptocurrency that merely served as a medium of transaction in the rendering of cross-border payments. Now, how does this work? In making payment from one part of the world to another, the currency of the sender, say euros, is converted to its equivalent in XRP. And then in a matter of seconds, the XRP is sent to the receiver as XRP, but the process then converts to the receiver's currency. That's pretty much the basics of the transaction aspect. It offers one of the swiftest methods of making payments, directly challenging SWIFT, which is the oldest platform being used by most of the world's banking system. Ripple is dangerously close to becoming numero uno of payment systems that the world is depending on. How soon XRP will rise heavily depends on how much it improves its adaptability. That is, it needs to grow in the number of users and industries ascribing to its services. It's believed that the more Ripple products are used to facilitate transactions, XRP will be considered as the crypto being used. This business model, though, leaves no room for a long-term wait to appeal to the interest of individuals to start using the coin for transactions. This would ultimately take time and even more stress and may not even work out well enough for the cryptocurrency. Although the model is ever dynamic with the growing desire of people to make cheaper and faster transactions without the hassle of heavy documentation or long waits queuing in banks to make transfers to other countries. It also does a good job of keeping up with other cryptocurrencies. It's pretty much the most feasible of all, with it having the potential to facilitate the transactions of other cryptocurrencies as well. The growth in other cryptos is bound to be reflected in the XRP crypto itself. It is a multi-dimensional tool left completely subject to the hands of investors in the cryptocurrency. If other altcoins are enjoying any form of attention out of the current state of the cryptocurrency industry, Ripple XRP can't affirm that. It's not hard to see why. After all, it is staring down the barrel of a gun aimed at undermining its existence. The uncleared issue of being a security or a currency makes it somewhat difficult to follow any pattern to establish a new cryptocurrency. The idea of initial coin offerings making cryptocurrency a security or a currency is pretty questionable, with no specific laid down rule that any crypto developer must follow. 
the very idea of decentralization is being threatened, especially if the cryptocurrency has to be registered with the SEC before. Instead, it becomes a stable coin bullied into some rather appalling situations. Now to the question of whether you should buy, keep, or sell XRP. There is no reason to panic over the XRP price. Things are pretty much still going on track with the coin, the company still going about its regular activities. Since the year began, it's business as usual with XRP, and Ripple as the payment system still makes use of XRP to facilitate transactions. While still maintaining its cheap and fast network and with the pandemic persisting in the world, more banks are expected to adopt Ripple as a viable transaction system as they look to surpass the old SWIFT platform. Additional partnerships with big banks and financial institutions are also expected to increase XRP beyond its current levels to around 60 to 70 cents in 2021. There is some analytical prediction for XRP, emphasizing that the number of big projects involving XRP is rapidly increasing. It is strongly believed that with the increase in the adoption of Ripple's technology, the price of XRP will soar. The truth remains that XRP is down but not out of the picture. As is normal with any cryptocurrency, this represents the best time to buy. With the price looming at $0.22, cents, which is about $0.48 cents off its high in December 2020, and some people adopting a fast sellout principle, many XRPs are waiting to be bought at cheaper prices, and you can avail yourself of this rare opportunity. Choose to buy and hold the crypto while you wait for it to rise significantly. XRP, like we said, is not good news for short traders at the moment, especially those who are looking to make a quick buck off the top. It has steadily built itself into a lasting bullish setup despite its recent drop from grace. What's more interesting is that the factors surrounding Ripple's current case scenario are not necessarily economical. That is, it's not caused by any form of market price control tactic or volatility or any response against another coin. This kind of case sets up XRP for quite the enormous rise given the odds stacked against it. I mean, what's going to sponsor the rise of crypto other than a defeat of its biggest challenge yet? It may not be making any waves in the market now, but it sure will when the news of its victory goes around and investor interest in the coin is restored, while exchanges that have stopped trading of XRP pick it up once again and allow the users of their platforms to begin trading XRP once more. The sky will be the limit for XRP, and it will experience quite the surge as has never been seen before in any cryptocurrency. What more can you ask for? Therefore, if you already have XRP stored up, do well to keep it. It will take a whole lot more than a lawsuit such as this to bring XRP down to its knees. Even if the case goes sideways in court, we will have a stable commodity in the store that will continue to rise in stock as its parent company continues to indulge in relatively new partnerships, set new milestones, and keep dipping its feet in the sea of the financial world. Keepers need to be focused right now. Instead of panicking and bursting into a flurry, you should relax and listen out for the news. Ripple is doing its utmost to fight this case and it will take a while. But pending that outcome, the coin is not exempted from operating as a currency, and it is also subject to the happenings in the crypto industry. This chart shows three conditions for investors to buy into XRP. The first condition is that the SEC provides a clear direction on the lawsuit with Ripple. Secondly, it predicts that XRP must break above the uncertainty triangle before it will rise. And finally, XRP must consolidate after the breakout to create a new support at a high of about 82 cents. You might have to hold on a bit longer for this to happen. Remember this, the greater the resistance, the greater the rewards. With Bitcoin's recent successes, altcoins are lining up to consolidate and ultimately go on bullish runs of their own, and XRP is not exempted from this scenario. Things are expected to pick up for Ripple and XRP once it settles down into a defined pattern of operation in 2021. Ripple's technical analysis is positive when viewed in the long term. You can't profit as a short trader in trading XRP. It's quite risky. But analysts remain optimistic that XRP can experience the same boost as time proceeds. 2021 is the catalyst. Ripple XRP will rise in the long run as it develops new products, partnerships, and engages investors. Buying and holding as much as possible of the cryptocurrency is not a bad idea. We hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave it a thumbs up, subscribe, and click on the notification bell. XRP price is on the mend. What do you think? Let us know your answers in the comments below. While you're here, go ahead and check out one of our other videos. See you next time.